all rise for the Honorable Judge Mitchell Haberman presiding over the one, uh, first AP World History Portal Central Court. Please be seated. This court will now hear the case of the People versus the Crusaders. Prosecution, counsel, do you have any opening statements that you would like to state? Yes, Your Honor. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Susanna Bennett, and I am representing the Jewish and Muslim people oppressed by the Crusades. We are here to decide if the defendant, Pope Urban II, and his Crusaders are liable for the genocide, first-degree murder, conspiracy of murder, accessory to murder, and oppression caused to said people between 1096 and 1291. At the beginning of this period, innocent peoples were murdered in their homes and on the streets of Jerusalem, foreshadowing the broader genocide that would be committed against their people in the years to come. Even the people who were forewarned of the coming destruction were killed. Despite the fact that they, that they were not standing in the way of the Crusaders reaching the Holy Land in the of the Cold War. We will provide evidence from given primary source documents and documents from the History Channel and the Jewish Virtual Library that depicts the forewarning of the genocide given in the speech by Pope Urban II and an, an analysis of it and the clear body count and physical destruction left in the wake of his Crusaders. In addition, we will present the witness testimonies of Saladin and Ibn al Aythar, who both can support the fact, facts about the destruction that occurred during and after the raid. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jewish and Muslim people were living at peace at the time, wanting only to spread their religion further, similarly to the way that the Christians had in, in earlier years, and were not deserving of the genocide that befell them. At the conclusion of this trial, it is a hope of mine that you will find the defendant is responsible for causing and authorizing the charges above to the afore aforementioned religious groups with the penalty of death by burning at the stake for the crimes committed against humanity. Thank you. Defense counsel, do you have any opening statements you would like to say before we begin? Yes, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Anna Bria, and I'm here on behalf of the defendant, Pope Urban II. I would like you guys to imagine that you were a Christian man or woman and you are making your pilgrimage to the sacred land of Jerusalem, as your ancestors have been doing since the sixth century. Upon arriving to Jerusalem, you are barred from the city that was sacred to your religion. Not only are you not allowed to enter, but you find out that your fellow, fellow Christian brethren are being oppressed, enslaved, and flogged in the streets. Um, not only, um, do you follow the oppression that's inside? But upon your return, you receive a message from God saying, take back the Holy Land and defend your religion, me, and your brethren. Um, would you ignore a message from God? Pope Urban II had received this call and delivered a speech calling his fellow Christians to take back what was stolen from him. Um, in this trial, I'm going to pr prove to you that no, not only is Pope Urban II not guilty of first degree murder, genocide, accessory to murder, or conspiracy to commit murder, but the only thing that he is truly guilty of is giving an inspirational speech and being an influential character in the Christian world. Thank you. Thank you. Now, does the prosecution counsel have any witnesses that they would like to call to the stand, please? The prosecution would like to call Saladin to the stand. Raise your hand or your read textbook. Raise your right hand. Uh, state your name for the court. Saladin. Uh, please repeat a, after me. Uh, I swear to tell the whole truth. I swear to tell the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me you do all this. So help me do all this. Be seated. <coughs> what is your name? My name is Saladin. And where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Do you subscribe to religion or are you an unbiased witness to this trial? I am a Muslim. Uh, why did you go to Jerusalem? I went to Jerusalem to assess the damages after the takeover. Mm -hmm. And why did you take back Jerusalem? I took back Jerusalem because I think Jerusalem merits their life. Why did you choose to strike a deal with the killed crusaders who were in Jerusalem? I didn't want to further a conflict that was already happening, and I wanted to save the rest of my Muslim people. Mm -hmm. And in the end, why did you not go back on your word? I didn't go back on my word because, again, I wanted to protect the Muslim people. Mm -hmm. What destruction did you see in Jerusalem? And where were you when you saw it? Was it the damage extensive so it couldn't see as far away? Not extremely far away, but it was definitely there. When I got into the city, it was more apparent. There were bodies literally littered on the walkway while they were using down the streets, and everything of value had been taken from people's homes. Did you 
you see any physical damage to the building? There was no physical damage, yes. What cultural, cultural and physical destruction was left in the wake of the Crusaders? Culturally, um, the Crusaders left the crosses in all of our places of worship, and so making their um, their beliefs evident. Mm -hmm. What do you make of the fact that at the lowest estimate, one million people were killed, with an average estimate of 1.7 million were killed um, because of the genocide taking place? I think that's unbearable. Um, what groups were seemingly affected by the Crusaders, from what you can see? I know the people of Jerusalem were definitely affected, and even my civilization so far away was the after we the vineyards people wept and prayed for Jerusalem. So would you say that this act of this criminal act against humanity was justifiable justified or no? I do not think it was justified. Do you tr trust the crusaders, their motivations, and likewise hope urban respect? I do not. Anybody who attacks a single group of religion just because believe in Pope Urban II's call from God to attack his fellow people. I do not. Um, although they say follow Muslim people and Jewish people and Christian people follow the same God, do you think that it was just that their God decided to prosecute and to murder people who believe in him? Objection, so. speculation. Overruled. So, thank you, Roman. Do you think the motives of the Crusaders and Pope Urban II stem from the same place? Uh, can you repeat that? Do you think that the motives of the Crusaders and per Pope Urban II come from the same motivation, stem from the same place? What do you think? I do. That is all. Yeah. <laughs> I have no further questions to ask. Would the defense counsel like to cross-examine Saladin right now? Uh, yes, Your Honor. the king of Jerusalem and personally killed him as well as killing many knights and ransomed the rest of the rest of the Christians in Jerusalem. Um, what are your views on Christians? Uh, my people believe that some of we do not believe in some of the Jews. We believe that yeah. some of them are lacking in spiritual sense. Okay. Um, can you tell me what you did for the majority of your time? 1174 until 1187. Yeah. Um, so when Susanna was interviewing you, you said that you did not think that the crimes were justified. Are you aware that the um, Muslims start their major threat from the beginning of Islam? I am. Okay. And um, so why do you believe Prosecution counsel would like to make a brief comment. Oh, and it's
two-minute recess, my bad. We will reconvene at 11.01. Can we talk about that?